Hello Sustainable Growers, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. In this video I would like to explain you what are the best vegetables to start with in aquaponics. So if you have designed your aquaponics setup recently or if you plan to design your aquaponics setup, you may wonder what are the best vegetables to start with in aquaponics. What are the vegetables that are going to be the easiest to grow and the best adapted to a very young aquaponics setup? So it's very important to understand that there is a little difference between an aquaponics setup that is quite old and well established and a very young aquaponics setup. And the difference is actually the complexity of nutrients available for the vegetables that you're going to grow. In a, in a, in a old aqua, aquaponics setup, you're going to have a lot of organic matters that are going to be trapped between the media. And also you're going to have a very wide biodiversity of bacteria, also uh, worms, nematodes and insects. And all those different creatures are going to break down uh, this organic matter in different uh, different sizes and will basically release uh, a very wide uh, diversity of nutrients for the vegetables. Uh, when you start your aquaponics setup you begin with a setup that is very young. You got your, uh, your media, you just cycle the system so you start to have a certain population of bacteria but uh, the diversity of, uh, of bacteria that you have and also of other insects such as worms uh, and uh, other little creatures is very limited. And therefore the diversity of food that is available for the plants is also limited. Limited in quantity but limited in diversity. So what I recommend is to start with some vegetables that are very easy to grow and that don't need a very high uh, uh, quantity and diversity of nutrients. So uh, the best vegetables to start with are basically the vegetables that are not fruits and that are not too complex, such as lettuce or uh, spinach or uh, silver beets, all those kind of uh, vegetables that are leafy vegetables and that grow a lot of leaves but don't grow fruit or complex really uh, elements. So um, that's really what I recommend you to do and after six months or after a year you can go for uh, vegetables that are a bit more complex such as tomatoes, uh, uh, chili, uh, yeah, all those kind of things that are, uh, you know, that, that are going to give uh, some fruit because uh, the fruits are a bit more complex, you know, uh, so the plant has some different needs when it creates the fruit. So at the beginning, really, you focus on the leafy vegetables and everything is going to be fine. And after a few, few weeks, few months, uh, then you're going to start to uh, go for uh, vegetables that are a, a little bit more complex. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you will see that on the description of the video just below, you will have access to some free gifts. First, you have access to a six-step process to be able to build your own aquaponic system in good conditions. I developed this six-step process because I found that too many beginners are basically starting aquaponics with a wrong design. So if you want to build your own aquaponic setup, please just follow those uh, six uh, step process. It's completely free, right? I really designed it to help you to build your setup in good conditions and therefore to succeed in aquaponics. The second gift is for people who already have aquaponics. A very uh, common problem we have in aquaponics is that we got the leaves of the vegetables that are turning yellow. And the reason why is because basically in, in, uh, in aquaponics we sometimes need to add some minerals otherwise the vegetables have some deficiencies. So if you have this problem, I made a special video about it as well and you can have access to it in the description of the video. It's uh, the free bonus video. Uh, if you are very interested into aquaponics, you can also have access to a webinar, uh, a free webinar specific to aquaponics. I deliver a lot of information. Finally, you are probably aware that I wrote a digital aquaponics manual called The Art of Aquaponics. 
and you can have access to a free excerpt of this aquaponics manual where I add a lot of value and I give you a lot of my knowledge about aquaponics. So don't forget that you can have access to those four gifts on the description of the video and I'm sure they're going to help you to develop your aquaponics setup and to produce your own sustainable and healthy food in good conditions. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!